Hey there everybody, I want to focus this video on how ambiguity can cause people to think worst case scenario. So what happens in a communication standpoint when you don't hear the right information, what you have a tendency to think about is the worst possible thing that could happen. So for example, let's say I'm about to meet you and I'm going to be driving and it's raining and I say, hey, let's meet up in an hour. And you're waiting there at the restaurant or the place that we've decided to meet and 15 minutes go by. You might start thinking to yourself, man, I wonder where he's at. And you try to reach out to me and I don't respond. Now all of a sudden a half hour has gone, gone by and I still haven't shown up yet. You might be thinking, oh my gosh, I think he probably got in an accident. He might be hurt. He might be at a hospital where you didn't think that maybe I stopped to get gas. Maybe I um, pulled over. I needed new winch wipers. Maybe I decided to stop at the gas station and get something to eat or um, go to the restroom and it's taking me a little bit longer or I actually didn't start off on time and you might think to yourself, well, why didn't he call? Maybe my phone died and my, my phone charger's not working. And so not that um, the ambiguity really causes that doubt. It's just that our minds have a tendency to fill in the blanks and unfortunately it has a tendency to put in worst case scenarios. And so what you want to be able to do is trust yourself and trust what's actually going on based on reality and real results, not based on assumptions. Have a fantastic day, everybody.